Welcome to Great Moments in Game Pro, the show where we chronicle the silliest, craziest, punniest, and most baffling Game Pro quotes of all time. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the September, October, and November issues from 1990, featuring genuine classics like Castlevania III, DuckTales, uh, Paperboy Columns, Shadow of the Ninja, and more. I hope you brought your fancy shoes, because we're about to induct a few of the great moments in Game Pro. What would you give to have time in the morning to think about how you look? Dance club bands, do the Barbie! Start your arms swinging up and down. Hey, Ver, your old buddy Ernest is now the creator of culinary masterpieces, and I do it all on my new gas range. The drug war is a dirty business, and in NARC, it's messy, too. Blast criminals with rockets, and you're gonna see some body parts. You want action? NARC's got it. Don't get high, unless it's on point. Yes, Mother Earth is once again in danger of being wiped out by evil aliens. But with a little help from a friend, namely you, and a heavy dose of low gravity, Mother Earth will be flying high in no time. If you're looking for a fast-paced gunfight, check this one out. E-SWAT's a mechanical cop action thriller that'll really test your metal. Er, metal. Sag of America's new Master System version of the arcade smash E-SWAT should leave starving SMS fans reeling from the excitement of fast-paced battle. The party's over for the bad guys now. You got a suit, and you're dressed to kill. It may take a while for Columns to reel you in, there's much more to the game than initially meets the eye. Check it out in the arcades and you'll see that Columns definitely stacks up. Paperboy gives SMS fans another smash hit to keep your system running fully tilt. Fast-paced action combined with superb graphics makes for a tremendous rendition of the arcade classic. Paperboy delivers. Penguin Wars is at its best in the tournament mode, where you and your friend can take each other on in a hilarious round-robin tournament. As a multiplayer game, it has great possibilities. This one's definitely for the birds. And everybody else. What'll they think of next? Cosmo Tank is a wild bug hunt that's tough at the beginning and gets harder as you go. With radical gameplay, challenging adventure, and top-notch graphics, Cosmo Tank will really bug you. Castlevania fans will love this new chapter of the Monster Saga. The numerous levels, detailed graphics, and challenging gameplay make this a mouth-watering video game delight. Sink your teeth into Castlevania 3 before Count Dracula sinks his into you. Persistent hordes of terrifying creatures demand all your fighting energy, and the added twist of having to battle to keep your best weaponry makes this monster mash all the more challenging. Don't come apart at the seams. The graphics are average, but the animated sequences in between levels and when you get wolfish are slick. The sound, however, could use a few lively wolf howls. Werewolf doesn't pull ahead of the pack, but it's no dog either. This game is a kick in the pants for contact sports fans. 16-bit graphics make even the gruesome aliens easy on the eyes, and the special monster select code keeps the game from slipping into monotony. It's always more fun to be a monster. Think you can breeze through Mondu's fight palace? Fat chance. If you loved DuckTales, you'll love DuckTales for the Game Boy. The gameplay is essentially the same, the graphics are excellent, and there's enough variation to the original game to keep you interested in the new version. Don't fly south for the winter, there's plenty to take care of right here in Duckburg. Gamers can safely bet that Mega Man 3 will be one of the monster hits in 1991. It's got everything a great video game should have, incredible challenge, exceptional gameplay, stunning graphics, and some nifty weapons. It's mega-rific! Ninja clans practiced their art in relative secrecy for centuries, until video games latched onto them. Now these masters of invisibility are definitely in danger of overexposure. Shadow of the Ninja, however, is above average ninja fare with top-of-the-line graphics and fast-paced gameplay. Can two ninjas live free in the land of the free? In America, anything's possible. 
Solar Jet Man is not as fast-paced as most NES titles. You'll do more exploring and maneuvering than fighting aliens. But it's a lot of fun, and many of the worlds are expansive and maze-like. You'll take hours to explore them. With all the weapons to choose from the different atmospheres to test your flying skills, Solar Jet Man is a real blast. Gorgeous graphics, tough gameplay, and interesting animated sequences makes this an excellent addition to the Genesis stable of titles. It's up, up and away for Felios. Legendary Axe 2 has the same magic as the first version, but with snazzier graphics. You get more power-ups here so you can stay in the hunt longer, enhancing the game's arcade feel. There's also a better variety of enemies. If you like thumb-numbing, hack'em, slash'em action, give this sequel a try. Remember, you axed for it. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Great Moments in Game Pro. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we'll be back soon with more dumb quotes. Now, here's the question I have for you. What's your favorite game featured in this episode? There are a lot of good ones to choose from, as well as a few stinkers. In other news, I'm currently hard at work on a bunch of reviews, including Velocity G, Playbook, Tech Support, uh, Crash Landed, Bullet Rage, and more. In the meantime, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.